Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to walk you through how to solve HTTP error 500 on your WordPress website. So most of the time with this error, you may not know where exactly this error is coming from. But I want to show you a simple way to identify this error and then how you can solve it. Most of the time you may like to disable your WordPress plugins and then identify whether it's coming for the WordPress plugins but in this case you can't even log on to the admin section so you can see from the top over there so in order to do this you have to first go into your control panel so log on to your control panel and then open the file manager open file manager from the control panel which i've already done i've opened the file manager so you have to identify which of your domain names the error is coming from in this case my own is coming from kdonline.com so that is a domain name that is copying that error so open that domain name. I've already done that. There's the domain name, the kdonline.com. You can see your WordPress files right here. All we want to do is that we want to identify that error. So just open the error underscore log. So you just open that file. Open that file, just right click this way and then go to view. It will open this in a new tab this way. And then you should be able to identify where the error is coming from per the date. So you can see today is 31st May 2022. And then if you trace the error, the error is basically coming from the function.php online 800-268. And that function.php is basically located within my w, w dash includes folder. So if you come down here, that error is basically within this folder. So the best thing you can do is to replace this folder because you are not an expert or mostly those who manage WordPress website don't have that kind of experience in coding. So you can identify that line that 1868, you can identify that line and try solving that error. So the best you can do is to replace this particular folder. That's the W dash includes folder. You have to replace it. So you have to go to wordpress.org slash downloads and then download the latest version of the wordpress and then we're going to get a content of that we'll get all of this and then upload it via a file server or just use any file management system like filezilla to upload this onto the website and replace this so what do we need to do is that we have to first download this and i've already downloaded this so if i go to my downloads folder this is what i have and zip this and then you should get a folder the wordpress folder open that open again and then you can see the wp includes just right click and then zip this add to archives and then i've already done that this is this and then we have to go ahead and then replace what we have over here before we replace we have to rename this so i'll right click and then what rename this and give it a different name so let me say two and then i'm going to bring a new one to replace this and i will try and see if this site is going to load so from this control panel the file manager we have to upload a new in order to replace the w wp includes go to upload and then we need to it to open this in a new tab and then we need to go ahead and then upload this new file over here so we're going to replace the old one we have already renamed this so we're going to replace this one with a new one that we downloaded from wordpress.org we're going to replace that right here so we have to replace that here so in order to do that go and then upload just drag this from here and then drop it here to upload it so you can see the progress over here so let's wait for this to upload successfully and see what to do next so this has been uploaded successfully that w includes file has been uploaded success just close this tab go back here and then reload the page so we should be able to identify the zip file from the list so this is the zip file right here so we have to unzip this so right click and then go towards extract so we need to extract it into the same website folder click on extract file So you can see the extraction is successful. 
okay so this is not successful we have to go back to our website and then reload it reload the site so i want to load the site directly. i don't want to go to admin section i just want to load this out and see we've been able to identify the root cause of this problem and then we've managed to resolve it so the site is back on all you need to do is that the files that you open you know where the issue is coming from you've traced it just close that back and then within this folder the assets files over here we have to delete them this we don't need them again just select and then delete those ones from your file manager because it's just going to take space on your hard drive that's the space you have for your host and it's just going to take space so you have to delete all the files extra files that you don't need that is all you need to do once that is done then you are good to go you can log on to your website again and then continue whatever you are doing thank you so much for watching this short tutorial remember to like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification till i come away again bye bye